So you've decided to start propagating some corals. Good news! Advanced Reef Aquarium sells all sorts of propagation supplies that can help you with that. But where to start? Hi everyone, I'm Than from Advanced Reef, and I would like to think that I know just a little bit about the subject. I'm also owner of Tidal Gardens and have been propagating corals on a commercial scale for over a decade now. So let's go over some of the things that I found really helpful in propagating coral. First, we should cover the topic of substrates. At Tidal Gardens, we almost exclusively use plugs. The advantages of using plugs for our workflow are organization and shipping. A plug is not an optimal substrate for every kind of coral out there, but when you start talking about thousands of corals, the benefits of easy organization on egg crate or acrylic racks outshine the other forms of substrate. Having said that, there are some major benefits to other substrates that may be better for your application. So let's now talk about tiles, discs, and rubble. Frag tiles are a great substrate for corals you expect to encrust. The idea with tiles is to arrange them in one solid layer and allow the corals to grow across the tiles and separate them later. Corals like zoanthids, green star polyps, and xenia are perfect candidates. Once the corals are separated, it's possible to then surround each of those tiles with eight fresh tiles and allow the corals to spread once again. Up next are discs. I was about to say that discs are similar to tiles, but in practice they couldn't really be more different. They're kind of like the exact opposite of tiles. Where tiles are designed to maximize contact with one another, discs minimize contact. The best use I've found for discs is for growing large polyp stony corals, such as Acan seen here, or Blastomusa, or perhaps Euphilia, like this hammer coral here. The reason I think this is because the discs that we carry have a bit of weight to them. That weight gives the discs a nice sturdy base, which helps out with these somewhat top-heavy corals. That finally brings us to coral rubble. If you're propagating just for yourself, or on a small scale, coral rubble is probably your best bet. First off, it's plentiful. You can take just about any piece of dry rock and break it up into whatever size piece you like and start gluing frags. Second, and probably more importantly, rubble pieces look much more natural than plugs, tiles, or discs. If you took a poll on what substrate people would like to receive their corals on, I'm going to guess that the runaway winner would be some sort of rubble. The reason that rubble isn't always used is because on the large scale, the irregularity of the rocks makes organization a real chore, and they're much more prone to toppling over when placed on flat racks. On the small scale though, they're great. Third, coral rubble is actually the best substrate to propagate certain corals. Leather corals, for example, do not glue down well to flat substrate. They're escape artists and can shake off glue easily. The best way that we found is to gently rubber band them down to an irregular surface like coral rubble. Now that we've covered the different types of substrate, let's talk a bit about glues and epoxies. There are several varieties out there from different manufacturers. Glue is typically a cyanocrylate gel of some sort. At Tidal Gardens, we use glue almost exclusively for our frags. I prefer to glue corals out of the water, but it's entirely possible to glue underwater as well. Cyanocrylate gel does cure underwater. Epoxy is a putty that can also cure underwater. It's especially helpful in anchoring larger colonies or even small plugs where there may be a fish like this harlequin tusk that's prone to move things around. One criticism I hear about epoxies is that they can affect skimmer performance for a day or so, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this overview of substrates and glues gives you guys some ideas for propagation. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Bye everyone.